Go. All right, good evening class. Uh, my name is Juan Losa and I'm gonna show you how to perform the field test of the standing long jump, right? Here in the gym, we have all these lines uh, that we can use. We're gonna use uh, this white line right here with the tape measure that I set out to about eight feet. It's important, I've done this before here in the gym, to make sure that the gym floor is clean because you're not, you're not gonna be able to uh, take off correctly. You could slip. So maybe if it's really dirty, you should go outside and use the black top, right? You are going to perform three jumps. The furthest jump right, to the nearest half inch is the one that's gonna get recorded. Uh, you have to have a counterbalance with your arms they're gonna propel you forward, right? Your toes are gonna be behind the line, okay? And then you want to bend your knees about 90 degrees to 45, between 90 and 45. Um, there's a lot of studies that say 45 is better, 90 is better, right? So obviously these studies have some bias. So you are going to use your hands for some counterbalance, right? And you're gonna propel yourself forward. You have to land on your feet. If you fall, if you touch the ground with your hands, you have to repeat the jump, and that jump doesn't count, right? So you go behind your feet, okay? You just swing your arms. Then measure at the back of your heel. So if we had another person here, right? They would put the meter stick, the art stick, and it'd be about six feet, uh, three inches. Uh, you would do that three times, right? Um, and you would get your standing a broad jump. This bad boy measures um, the maximum power for your legs, your lower body. It could also predict uh, your sprinting speed, right? And your abilities for the future. Thank you.